Okay, so we discovered that we found the right playground and we found the right um, challenge. So we were talking about how level one might have multiple screenshots to fit it all on one page. Same with level two, level three. Okay, so please take the time to uh, let me know which ones are which so I don't mark you wrong. All right, so this one's a little different because on this one, you're going to guide your way around. So let's see what it wants us to do. Program the virtual ro reality robot to move through the disk maze from start to finish using the front eye sensor to detect the disk colors. Detect at least five disk colors before moving to the finish. The green square is the starting point and the red disk is the finish. Okay, so we go to here. We have to detect a bunch of these colors. I can't even tell what these things are. They look so weird from this video. So let me just show you what they really look like because that helped me a lot. And you start to see them closer. You can see that they're uh, like a target with a pad, the same color in front of it. The robot has two different sensors. It has a front sensor and it has a down sensor. In the previous uh, activity, the down sensor was easy to help you locate the disks. In this activity, you might use both, okay? So I'm going to just show you a sample of what I was playing with uh, yesterday. I was doing something similar to this, the same thing, actually. And I want to show you what I came up with. Um, we started playing around. I'm just going to show you it going through so you can see it going through, then I'll program it with you. So I reset this. One of the things I'd like to do to make you understand it better and see it better, let me see if I can move this so you can see me too, is I change it to a different view. Over here in this corner on the... Um, the programming um, screen, you'll be able to see that. And you can see how I got it to go forward, then this way, and it found the blue, and it stopped. So that's as far as I got so far. All right. In that uh, little bit of programming, there was some very different um, uh, programming language you haven't seen yet whatsoever. One of the uh, we're using a, a control statement, which will uh, have a robot continually do something until a requirement or a uh, or wh whatever it wants to do is met. So you're going to have to uh, learn how to use these in any type of uh, uh, programming that you'll be doing. So let's start from scratch, though. Here's ours, okay? Um, one of the guys showed me, uh, Dylan Arnold, uh, in our Zoom meeting yesterday that many of you didn't come to, by the way, that you can uh, scroll down here. Let me say, you can change this drive a lot. So let me see if I can move this box. I can't move this box, so it's a little annoying. All right, here, so set drive velocity. I'm going to drag this in here. This whole thing goes through the puzzle so slowly. You can put this on, set it to 100%, and it'll move a lot faster for you. See if it'll let me do it. Oh, not 50, 100%. All right, not 1,000%, 100%. Very good. So the first thing you're going to need to do is we're going to need to drive forward until we detect green. So let's just drive forward. All right, and you can see how I started right away going into that loop, and I'm going to show you that here. Now we want to put a loop in here because we want it to drive forward until it sees green, okay? We don't want to set a time and we don't want to set a distance. It can go for miles, it can go for days, doesn't really matter. Until it detects that green, it won't stop. So if you look over here where it says control, I'm gonna to go to these control ones and there's one that I like a lot, it works really well. And it's really nice and simple for you guys, now that you're just starting out, is wait until, okay? On wait until, you have to have wait. You're going to drive forward until something happens. Well, we're going to have to have a sensor find something, right? So we're going to have the front eye detects. This is a nice one here because you can do front eye or bottom eye and detects a color. So this will really help us. So I'm going to grab this command. And I'm going to bring it over till it lights that up. See how it lit it up? See it? See how it lit up? Now I drive it in there. So let's see if it'll do it. It'll drive forward until it detects with the front eye until it detects green, not red, right? So let's change that to green. Reset the machine. Let's see what happens. 